Criterion, Fireboy DML. Performing live is, is a craft that I've always wanted to, you know, improve on ever since I came into this life. It's, it's my, my life on stage is, is it's, it's a different thing entirely to what I do in, um, outside that. So like, it's something I've always wanted to improve on. Learning that I was going to be on a big stage was, was a crazy feeling, to be honest. Uh, it was it was t two feelings because at first I realized I was nominated, then I realized I was performing. So I'm like, oh wow, this is huge. Watching the BET Awards over the years, I've, I've always, I mean, any artist would want to perform on, on the big stage, on the main stage. Uh, uh, so I felt blessed, felt excited, and I knew what it would mean for the culture. So yeah, that, that just doubled my excitement. Good, you want to take it from the top all the way through? Yes, yes, yes. After we do this once all the way through, we'll fix this ending. An offside rehearsal is basically um, the rehearsal Two, three, outside four, the, the actual stage you're supposed to perform. It's doing the same thing, but not in the same place. Yes. The creative behind my performance is, is electric. It's, it's very expansive. Uh, there's, there's dance, there's a lot of movements, it's a lot of energy, and, and that's what African music is all about, you know, that's what it's always been about. It's, it's, it's about the culture, it's about the energy, the vibe, the, the, the rhythm. African music is, is, is basically built to make you happy, to make you dance, to make you excited, and, and that's what, you know, my, my performance is going to be about. It's, it's going to be a lot of choreography, um, movements here and there, you know, interpolations and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to it. Seeing the dancers, seeing the routine, learning everything, just it just changed everything for me. It made me super excited. It made me more willing to, you know, go harder for this stuff and to nail it. Because I know what it would mean for the culture if I really nail this performance. And it just changed everything for me. After this, you need to go around with her. It, even if you even if you hold her here, boom, boom, so that it feels more connected. The, the beautiful thing about the offside re um, rehearsals was that with each take, I was getting better at the at, at delivering every single part of the performance. And um, my, my confidence grew with each time we kept, you know, taking a, 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 another take at it. And, and I'm just super glad that I learned, picked up everything I was supposed to pick up. Fire. And we'll just clean this little ending and then we'll, we'll head over to Microsoft. Walking into the Microsoft Theater was a dream. Funny enough, I was here last year to watch the BT Awards with my team, Empire Olamide, my boss. It was a different feeling. I came as a spectator to watch, you know. You know this time I was coming as a proper part of the culture and it's aptly named Culture's Biggest Night. I was mind blown by everything. The organization, the lights, the stage, the sound. Um, as a performer, sound is like up there with my priorities when it, when it comes to performing. I'm performing uh, Playboy and Peru. Those two tracks are the tracks that around my third album coming out in August. The album is titled Playboy too. I selected those songs not because they're my most recent songs, but because they represent the earth space I'm in right now. Where African music is going right now. This album is another different earth space. Um, I've learned to be more expressive. Uh, to come out of my box, to experience new things, new people. I've been a kind of reclusive superstar over the past few years. And, you know, last year when I recorded Peru and the following few months when I recorded Playboy, just changed my perspective on things, not to overthink stuff, to just lean into the music you know, and just see where life takes you. Fatima is a great, great boss, a great leader, a great teacher. And as we got on site, we, we realized we needed a few to, to change a few things because, you know, working off site, it's different from rehearsing on site. You, you realize that you could walk the stage a little better. And you know, she pointed a, a few pointers to me about how I could use the stage to my advantage. And that was something we didn't realize off site because it was a different environment. Point of entrance, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, she, we, we changed a few things uh, when we got on site. Fire boy, take a step to your left. No, no, to your right, to your right. Right there, right there. Uh-huh, yep. As a Nigerian artist, as, as an Afrobeat artist, as a provider of African music, it's a big thing for the culture. That's, that's the word. And the representation is huge. I feel like my performance is going to herald a big cultural reset in a way. So that, that just makes this whole thing more exciting for me. This is a big deal. I learned that I'm probably the first 
um, Afrobeat artist is going to be gracing the stage. That's just huge. I'm nervous, but I'm telling myself I'm the greatest to ever do this. <laughs> and I'm ready, and I was born ready. I've been working with the best of the best, and I feel like I'm going to give, so far, the best performance of my life. Here to keep applying the pressure. It's BET's first Afrobeats live performance. Hailing straight from Nigeria, Fireboy DML. Yeah, don't flex with the boy, your body is a mountain. She wanna roll with the man, them when I drop, you know it's an anthem. Oof. Girl, you wanna play with a big play ball like me. Oof. Girl, you wanna play with a big play ball like me. Oof. Flex with the boy, your body is a mountain. She wanna roll with the man, them when I drop, you know it's an anthem. Ah, ah, you wanna play with a big play ball like me? Ah, girl, you wanna play with a big play ball like me? I'm performing for my people. I'm performing for Nigeria, for Africa. I'm performing for Afrobeats. I'm performing for African music. And, and you know, having those legends there, I just wanna show them where African music has gotten to, you know, and how much work is put in uh, over the years. And, you know, I just want them to see that the work we've been doing all these years has not gone to waste. With this performance, I, I hope that people get to see how beautiful African music is. I want to be remembered as one of the greatest Afrobeat artists ever. Thank you for having me tonight. It's crazy, it was amazing, electric, everything I imagined. Afrobeat is yet to stay.